And we are transferring to Orbiter Internal Power at this time. Endeavor is running off its three onboard fuel cells. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 3, 2, to ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavor, providing power to the station as we continue to build our future in space. Well, okay. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. Endeavor completing the roll. The shuttle now in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Twenty-five seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Endeavour already one and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems reported to be in great shape. 52 seconds into the flight, the main engine's beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. Endeavor, go at throttle up. The throttle up call from spacecraft communicator Gus Loria. On board Endeavor, Commander Brent Jett. Joined on the flight deck by pilot Mike Bloomfield, flight engineer Mark Garneau of the Canadian Space Agency, and mission specialist Joe Tanner. Seated alone down on the mid-deck, mission specialist Carlos Noriega. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight. Endeavour 18 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange. Three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. This view from long-range tracking cameras north of the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation coming up in about eight seconds. Booster officer here in Mission Control reports a good solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour 32 miles in altitude, 40 miles downrange, putting on a light show for the eastern seaboard as it heads up the eastern seaboard. Guidance has converged, all three computers. And the booster officer reports the ignition of Endeavour's orbital maneuvering system engines. That will be a one minute, 42 second kick in the pants for Endeavour as the shuttle gets an additional lift to orbit to accommodate its 18 ton payload. Endeavour, two engine tail. That call indicates uh, that should one main engine fail, uh, Endeavour has enough uh, velocity at the moment to reach a transoceanic abort site in Spain. However, all three main engines continue to function as advertised. A good ride so far for the five-man crew of Endeavour.